Right, we're off to find some views of Don't Water. Come along with me and see what spectacular views we find. Well, good afternoon. And he catches out for a walk today to get some views of Derwent Water. Now, why am I doing this? Well, the simple reason is my van's not very well. Um, the wheels were getting a bit warm, so I took it into the garage and they said, do not drive it because your brakes could fail. But unfortunately, they started repairing it I didn't quite get it finished yesterday, not yesterday, the day before, and then with the Easter holiday it means they won't get it finished till the Tuesday after the Easter holiday. I'm hoping they get it finished that Tuesday, so don't really want to put on other people and beg lifts or borrow cars, so I thought I'd just walk from home somewhere. Now I have been up here before so hopefully I can get something a bit different the weather is a bit different it's quite uh, yeah puffy white clouds in a blue sky at the moment but we're heading up Walla Crag which is to say it's a place I've been up before but where we are going to go from Walla Crag which I've only been to once before but did have done a blog from there and it's probably Oh, two, two years or so at least since I was up there going to Falcon Crag and hopefully get some nice views there of the Derwent Water, the Der of Derwent Water. So th that's the plan. Also want to get, um, try out some time lapses so Hopefully we can do that and hopefully we can get the drone up because it's not too windy today. So we'll just keep on going, get up to Walla Crag and maybe see you when you're up there. Right, bye for now. Right. Well, we've made it to the top of Walla Crag. I say we've got some blue sky with some nice puffy white clouds. And now you can see down there is Derwent Water. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. I'll maybe just have a mooch around. I'm going to get something to eat and maybe just take some handheld images. Um, it might be quite difficult to get the tripod up as there is quite a lot of people on the top here with it being the Easter holidays it's not quite as I would normally come sometimes midweek and there'd be virtually nobody up here so yeah so that's Walla Crag and then in the distance is Bleabury Fell we're not going up there we're going to go across that way to Falcon Crag and maybe get some decent views from there so we'll get some at tweet get some handheld shots and if they're any good we'll put them on the video and we'll see you a little bit later.
Right, well we're on our way to Falcon Crag, but I just couldn't resist stopping at this lone tree, which I have stopped at at least two or three times before. The last time I came up here, uh, the light wasn't very good, so I didn't actually and capture any images but I have this time although the light is difficult because as you can see we've got the tree there and the very bright blue sky and then Bleabury fell in the background and then where the actual waterfall is and the river coming down it is quite quite dark so I've actually done bracketed images I've done them upright and I've set them um, as we'll see if we look at the back of the camera there We'll set it to um, a 3b4 rather than a 4b6, sorry, 4b5, I think. Oh, I get me um, sizes. Just, yeah, in lance, uh, portrait mode, but just slightly shorter. And I've done a bracketed images. So I, I think it's quite... A nice tree. I'll have to come sometime in the summer when there's um, the tree looks more alive. It looks fairly dead at the moment, but um, yeah, we're not far from Falcon Crag. So if the image is any good, we'll put it up and then we'll head off, go to Falcon Crag, and see what we can capture there. So we'll see you a little bit later. Right, well you see I've now made it to Falcon Crag. I've been here a little while uh, messing around, well not messing around, but I have had the drone up and you may have seen some footage and I've taken a couple of images uh, with the drone and I've also been messing about with time lapses. I did one on, the, on this camera, the DJI Pocket 2 I've also done a time-lapse video on the main camera here and now what it's doing is doing just taking a load of images at intervals and then we're gonna see how that does for stitching them together into a time-lapse. But I have taken some images um, all very wide angle one was similar to that getting the lake in and then one across here with Skidder in and Walla Crag. Probably not quite as wide as, as this is. But yeah, that, that's Walla Crag. That's where we were a short while ago. And I think as soon as the camp is finished, we need to um, pack up and be heading off home. I've probably been here probably a good hour or over an hour now. So yeah, it's been a good day. So. Yeah, we'll put the images of um, that I've taken here, if the ones that are any good, up on the video, um, and then we'll start heading back, and we'll see you a little bit later.
right, we're on our way back down now. So I think it's been quite a good afternoon. Um, particularly, part of it was a learning progress process with time lapses. Um, so what I'll have done, you'll have probably seen by now, and I've hopefully put up three time lapses. The one done with the, the Pocket 2, which actually moves. The one um, time lapse video recorded on the um, 5D Mark IV. Now I think that is only 1080p. I'm not quite sure what the one on the um, Pocket is. And then one from the 5D Mark IV where there's all the images stitched together. So that will be created into 4K, I would have thought. Now that's something, the, the two videos will just come straight out, but the, all the images to be put together will need some work. So it would be much appreciated if I've put them all three up that um, you comment on which you think looks the best in terms of quality, etc. or in whatever terms you wish. So, and yeah, I must get to Falcon Crag more often. You get so much better views of Derwent Water and less people. Uh, I was the only one there today. Nobody else came. Well, there's another couple came, but they didn't come to the bit of the crag I was on. Maybe, maybe they would have done. Maybe they were put off by somebody else being there. But no, it was good. And I got the drone up, which I haven't done for a while. So that was good. I don't know whether the footage was that brilliant, but um, yeah, well, it is what it is, and I certainly did get some a couple of images with the drone, maybe one to be used as a, a thumbnail for the video. So yeah, that's um, that's it really. Hopefully you've enjoyed it, and if you have, please click the thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing, why not subscribe? And if there's anything please comment. I do appreciate all comments and do reply to all comments, even if it's just a thank you. Um, if it's not a question, sometimes it's just a statement and sometimes it's a question and I certainly answer all questions and if it's just a, a statement that you enjoyed it, you would at least get a thank you. So, so yeah, that's, um, that's it. I'm not quite sure um what's happening with the next one now this one now this is east or the saturday before easter sunday um, there is a video ready to go up tomorrow which was the one which um if you regularly watch my videos you'll have seen it by the time you see this one it's the one from Luffrig fell and then this all being well will go up the following sunday which will be the 7th, 7th of, Mar uh, of March, of April. So we'll get that done and up, and then, not quite sure, hopefully I'll get out sometime this week, and then next, um, well, I think it's a week today, yeah, my wife is going away for a few days, so that means I'll be busy doing various things around the house, so I won't have much chance to get out. So it would be useful to get another one done before she goes away, or certainly recorded it anyway. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoy them. I think my extra video on um, my workflow was not particularly well received. It hasn't done that well. Neither has the one about um, going up Scoot Beck. I'm not quite sure why that one wasn't. That was the one with black and white images. Maybe the images were not as good as they could have been. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, so but hopefully this one will, this, uh, the one going up tomorrow and this one, I'm all back to my normal style. So hopefully they'll perform um, better than the last few so yeah we still want the channel to grow we seem to have just um, stagnated a bit particularly the, the ones from Iceland didn't do too well but I think that's because it was more of a just image after image with very little 
um, video showing the area we were in etc was and now back to the standard ones uh, out in the Lake District although I do intend doing some in the Yorkshire Dales just to go somewhere different etc and I might still do some other odd um, random videos particularly reviews I particularly want to do one on this um, and I can't remember what it's called the thing that I can put on the camera and then control the camera from the um, the phone I have mentioned I think I've mentioned it before um, it has various uses but we'll come into that anyway I'm just rambling so yep we'll leave it there and we'll see you on the next video